good afternoon everybody welcome back to the channel and another video I'm just on Squaresgate Lane here in Blackpool and we're just coming up to the promenade what I'm going to do in this video is start here at Stargate which is also where the illumination start beautiful day absolutely gorgeous I hope you're all well So this is Stargate, at the southern end of Blackpool, right where Blackpool finishes and St Anne starts, but we're heading towards Blackpool. Now Stargate actually got its name from a spiky variety of grass which grows locally on the sand dunes. It's called Stargrass. So yeah, we've just come under the welcome sign for the illumination, so this is the way that most people come in obviously to do the illumination run look at this weather today beautiful i am going to try and drive in a minute with my windows open so you can pick up some sounds as well you can probably see the um, giant mirror ball on my left coming up too much wind noise with that window open so I'll open this one just next to the Solaris centre here on my right and the mirror ball on my left because on my right we have the Headlands Hotel coming up and the Hampton by Hilton the big hotel it's having an extension built so it's going to be very impressive when it's done and also obviously the Pleasure Beach coming up shortly there's the big one the very impressive boulevard hotel sitting underneath it and also down that same road is the big blue hotel for the pleasure beach both very nice hotels South Beach Car Park. Looks like there's quite a few people in it already. We are sort of about 2.30 in the afternoon. We're coming up to the Heritage Tram <laughs> Station. Where you get your Heritage Tram, for, tram Tour from on my left. And on Thursday, the 2nd of May, this Thursday, there is going to be a special heritage tram tour up the promenade from this point here with the largest amount of heritage trams we've had on the tracks at one go, apparently. So they are setting off from here about 2.30. It's approximate so far, I've seen. Um, and it will be traveling all the way up the promenade and they will be pausing up near the comedy carpet for photo opportunities, things like that. And this is all to do with the Queen's Platinum Jubilee. Couple of the Landau's here. We've got the weather spoons, <coughs> the Velvet Coaster on my right. And the Velvet Coaster was actually named after one of the rides in the Pleasure Beach because one of the coasters had velvet seats and that's where the Velvet Coaster got its name. It's on Withnall Road. Now originally 
that was the place um, where the old Lucky Star stood. If anyone remembers the Lucky Star, it was on TV on a series called Blackpool. That's a good watch. South Pier on my left. Station Road on my right, we're just passing, and Pablo's fish and chips and they do ice creams and stuff there. Pablo's is a really good place, very popular. Ice creams are lovely. Let's negotiate this. Pop round him. Whee. There we go. I was passing the Queen's Hotel on my right. And we're coming up to Waterloo Road in a moment. A bit busier than I was expecting it to be this afternoon, actually. Based on its. Tuesday. So yeah, we're at uh, Waterloo Road now, and there's also a tram stop and the Dutton Arms. Now passing on my right what was the Yates's South Shore, which obviously has now closed down. No doubt will be, be reopened as something else. hotels and guest houses on the right facing the beach along here Royal Carlton loads of them too many for me to sit here and reel them off St Chad's this is what's known as St Chad's Headland Dean Hotel on my right also. Very popular hotel. Hotel here on my right hand side and coming up to the Craigie Dom. Very popular is the Craigie Dom. You can see possibly over on my left that the big wheel is up. It's not got the carriages on yet, but it's back. We will be getting a new one. I'm not sure whether we'll get it next year or maybe the year after, but there will be a new, much bigger big wheel. It's a bit busy around here than I really was expecting, but never mind, we'll just go with the flow. It's a pleasant day, isn't it? <coughs> That is a wedding car in front of me. Lots of the little uh, seafront shops now, the gift shops are all open, selling all the goodies. Wow, it seems a bit chocker up there with those lights. See how we're going should ease off when we get past the tower. Should start to ease off a bit. And on my left we have Pat's famous Tempe bingo. On my right, sorry. I'm losing it. First number is on the book by the seven lights variety. 
Yeah, so here on my right is Pat's Tempe Bingo. Red, one and six, sweet 16. Blue, five and six, 56. Blue, four and five, 45. Yellow, three and seven, 37. Red, eight in heaven, it's a seven. seven. White, seven and two. Oh, that's a nice horse. White seven and five, seventeen five. Yeah, so what I'm trying to do in this video is just give you a little um, look at the promenade on a lovely day. It's quite busy, I must say. Central pier here. <clears throat> you can see the crowd starting to get a bit uh, denser as we get closer up the promenade. So on my uh, right hand side, right opposite Central Pier, I've got there's a few shops and there's one called Golden Mile Gifts and Souvenirs. Now in there is one of the shops that uh, sell some of my photographs on postcards and other things like fridge magnets and yeah, different bits and bobs. So that's one of the shops where some of my stuff some of my photos can be bought if you know what you're looking for you know, tea towels mainly my famous one of the red arrows flying over Blackpool Tower but also with the fireworks going off at the top of Blackpool Tower and there's a couple of the Central Piers big wheel photos of mine at night as well Chapel Street on my right down there. Just now passing Happy Days Cafe. And I've seen Madame Two Swords. The new Peter Rabbit exhibition, which is Explore and Play. Now, you can't go in there unless you've got a child with you. So that's sadly for me, I can't go in. I must have borrowed someone's child. Hmm. Very disappointing because I'd like to see that myself. To have a look around it. But, yeah, I have to have a child. All mine are grown up. Yeah. Anyway, Funland. We're passing now and the Sea Life Centre. On my left is the lifeboat place. Where our lifeboats are launched from. I tell you what, that sea is so beautifully blue today. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous out there today. Let's see if we can open this window a bit. I'm trying to give you some sounds as well without you just hearing wind. So we've got the Golden Mile Amusements and Coral Island. Coming up to the Spyglass Bar and what is going to be Blackpool Museum, which if you remember was the old Sands building. at least with it being a bit busy you're getting a bit of a better look around because I'm not whizzing past things so maybe that's a bit better for you guys watching not so great for me driving but yeah Just 
going past Blackpool Tower now and the famous comedy carpet. There's so many events going on up here on Thursday. It is untrue. It's going to be. Um, oops. It, um, yeah, it's going to be a bit crazy on Thursday. And over there we have the beach house bar and restaurant and the wedding chapel and tourist information center now the wedding chapel yeah bit of a marmite building either love it or hate it just going past the vegas diner now which is obviously where the viva cam also is this is the live camera where you can uh, have a look and see what's going on in the comedy carpet area Okay, peppers, fish and chips. It's a laser quest. There's a laser quest down there as well, so that's pretty cool. Robert's Oyster Rooms, and we're coming up to North Pier and the Bloom Bar. Shenanigans as well on my right. Very, very busy place at night, very loud. Well, I've just had to pull off the promenade for a minute and go back on. Um, my camera actually jumped off the windscreen and ended up on the floor. So sorry about that little break there. You didn't miss much. So we'll go back down in a second. I'm on Dixon Road now and we will now go and rejoin the promenade and hope the camera stays put it doesn't happen often but if it gets quite hot it does have a tendency to uh, come undone and jump off so yeah anyway hopefully you can get a good view of the sea there from high up how nice and blue it is so this tram stop is called wilton parade and let's go and rejoin the promenade Right, okay, so we're back on to the promenade and we are near the Grand Hotel. Oh, right, okay, sorry about that little interlude around the back streets there. So yeah, the Grand Hotel on my right there, and obviously next to that is a bit of spare land where the old Derby Baths used to be. Oh, look at that, Heritage Tram. Ding ding! Tram check! How cool was that? So this we are coming up to now is called Gin Square. Not square, I know it's actually a roundabout so it's round. But it's called Gin Square. Savoy Hotel here on my right, which I'm just passing now. And we're coming up to the Cliffs Hotel. Now we're passing the new Hackett's, which uh, was hit by a fire. Now I know at the moment it is being used. There are people in there using it as storage, the owners. Um, a couple of rumours which I'm not going to go into right now but it could be interesting to keep an eye on it so passing the Elgin Hotel the cabin lift on my left here is uh, really cool one of the highest points along Blackpool Promenade, or the highest point. Let's see if we can get past this bus. Anyone's going to let me out? Just push my way, that's better. Shove it. I must admit, as much as I'm a very, very safe driver, 
I don't like getting stuck behind buses and things like that and if I can find a way out where other people are quite timid I will do I always remember my advanced driving instructor uh, when I was training to be an instructor I say you can get past that just go for it so yeah that always sticks in my head <coughs> Just about to pass the old miners convalescent home, which is now some very, very exclusive apartments. It's called Admiral Point. Beautiful, beautiful apartments. And just at these traffic lights coming up here. You can see the other welcome arch to the illuminations. The tableaus are not up at the moment, they're in for cleaning, etc. They'll be going up again soon, ready for the illumination season. This concludes our little drive through what would be where the illuminations run. At this point, I am going to swing down here onto Red Bank Road and I will bid you a fond farewell. Until the next one, stay safe. Look after yourselves. Have a great day. Catch you later.